The wife of murdered Applington Parkersburg football coach Ed Thomas urged a congressional committee today to change a law she says empowered her husband's killer. Mark Becker, a former student Thomas coached, walked into the AP weight room on, in June of 2009 and shot and killed Coach Thomas in front of 22 students. Today, Jan Thomas said HIPAA, the federal law regulating patient privacy, is partially to blame. My name is Jan Thomas, and the story I have to tell is a nightmare that could have been prevented. Jan Thomas calmly recounted for a congressional committee how Mark Becker murdered her husband. In one quick moment, so many lives were impacted forever. Our family lost a son, husband, father, grandfather, and brother, whom we all love very much. But the real tragedy of that day is the fact that this all could have been prevented. Thomas pointed out that just days earlier, Becker was arrested after a police chase and taken for a psychiatric evaluation. The hospital released him just hours before he would shoot and kill Coach Thomas, but the hospital didn't warn anyone, not wanting to violate Becker's right to patient privacy, known as HIPAA. No one knew that Mark had been released, but Mark's privacy had been protected. Thomas says Becker had expressed anger toward Coach Thomas, but because of HIPAA, no one had warned her. If Mark had come to my home that morning and asked where Ed was, I would have innocently sent Ed's killer directly to him and Ed to his grave. Thomas says HIPAA laws keep even family members from helping a mentally ill patient get the right treatment, and that, she argues, ultimately cost her husband's life. So I would ask you, is the privacy of one individual more sacred than a life? Is it more important than the welfare of our general public? Becker is serving a life sentence for Thomas's murder, but is getting mental health treatment while in prison.